Yo guys, what is going on? Matt here and welcome to week number 3 in the 2015 NFL season here with my Oakland Raiders Connected Franchise Mode here on Madden 16. The Raiders are 1-1 one one after 2 weeks, both at home, 1 win against the Bengals in overtime and then a loss last week to the Baltimore Ravens. Now they go to Cleveland and face off against the Johnny Manzellis Cleveland Browns. They bring in Thad Lewis as their quarterback as Johnny Manziel is out for the next four weeks with a dislocated kneecap. So here we go. Football is underway. Lewis hands off to Crowell and he is going nowhere. Second and 12 now. Next play. Lewis again to Crowell and he is taken down once again. Third and 13 now at the 30 yard line. Lewis out of the snap. Waits. Throws downfield but that is well out of the range of his receiver Josh Gordon and now him and one of the Raiders players did get into a bit of a scuffle but that will bring out Derek Carr who struggled a little bit last week but did pretty well the week before so we will see how good he does this week first play he hands off to Murray gains nothing second and ten now looking for an open receiver nobody opens he's just gonna throw it away and now it's third and ten at the 20 yard line Derek Carr trying to get some yards for the Raiders and possibly a first down he finds Amari Cooper at the sideline but that's only good enough for four yards and as a result the Raiders are going to have to punt it off to the Cleveland Browns. Here comes Thad Lewis on the field with the Browns offense. He's going to connect there and get three yards. Second and seven now for the Browns. And that is a pass over to, yes, Wes Welker. He's on the Browns in this game. And they get themselves a first down across midfield at the 32-yard line. Nice job there by Wes Welker. Lewis now. Hands it off to Crowell, and he is going to break some tackles and find his way to the 31-yard line, a gain of one. Now he's going to be taken down, but he fights his way for a couple of yards. Third and seven now for Thad Lewis. Throws it over to his left, and again finds Wes Welker. Those two are connecting early, and they're down to the 11-yard line with a first down, and they are well into the red zone. Next play, first and ten for Lewis. He hands off to Crowell, and he is going to his right now. Won't gain anything. Second and ten, Crowell. Looking for an open hole, he kind of finds it. Gets five yards, third and five now at the six. Lewis waiting, still waiting. All the time in the world and a nice broken up play there by the Raiders defense as they are going to hold the Browns to a field goal when they were at the six yard line. So a very nice job there by the Raiders defense. The Browns do score a field goal and they're up three nothing here in the first quarter. Raiders offense comes back on looking to do more than they did last time. Hand off to Latavius Murray. He is going to get three yards. Second and seven now for Derek Carr. He is out of the snap. Finds Rod Streeter. And he is going to battle his way. Not for a first down, just short. Third and inches now. We're handing it off to Murray. He will easily get the first down up to the 34-yard line. So nice job there. Murray having himself a decent day. Eight yards on three rushes. So maybe not so good. We're handing it off now to Murray. More like tossing it off to him. And he's going to get a first down. So a nice carry there as he will get quite a few yards down to the 48-yard line for the Raiders. And that is a first down. Derek Carr now handing it off to Hello Jr., who is getting tripped up, and he goes down on the play. Play action pass here now on second and 10, and that is almost intercepted. Third and 10 now. Derek Carr out of the snap, almost gets sacked, but he finds Michael Crabtree and turns the sack into a first down, and that will bring the Raiders to the 41 yard line. So a nice job there by Michael Crabtree. First and 10 now. Derek Carr hands it off to Latavius Murray. He will stumble forward and get two yards. Second and eight now. Derek Carr waits, throws it way downfield, and that's way out of bounds. Looking for Amari Cooper. Couldn't find him. Third and eight now. Carr out of the snap, throws it over, and that is knocked down. Crabtree, the intended receiver, and as a result, the Raiders are going to have to punt it off once again. So it's still 3-0 still here in Cleveland as we enter the second quarter of play. Five-yard gain there. Second and five, Lewis throws it up the middle. Nobody there. Third and five now for Thad Lewis. Throws it over the middle, and also no one there again. So back-to-back -back plays. Couldn't find anybody, and the Raiders' defense is going to force the Browns to a three and out. So the Raiders' offense needs to get something going. We'll see if they can do that. Derek Carr almost gets sacked, just barely throws the ball away in time. Second and ten now. He's throwing it downfield, and that was almost caught by Michael Crabtree, I believe. Third and ten now for Derek Carr. He has to get something going. They can't go three and out again. And that is a pass over to Amari Cooper. He gets to the 45-yard line, but it is not enough for a first down. Just three yards short, and they will have to punt it off once again. So this offense for the Raiders not looking very good. Their defense is doing good, but um, eventually their offense has to do something. So lost one there brings up second and 11, and they will go ahead, almost get the first down, two yards short, and a nice spin move here by Crowell, and he will get a first down for the Browns. So a nice job there up to the 31-yard line, and he's got 13 yards on nine rushes today. 
Lewis now, play action, out of the snap, Waits almost gets sacked, similar to Derek Carr's play, just barely gets rid of it. Second and 10 now, hands it off to Crowell, and he's going to stumble forward for three yards. Third and seven, Lewis, out of the snap, finds his receiver, Crowell, actually the running back, obviously, Crowell, and that is going to be a, f no, it's not, it's a fourth down, and Crowell cannot find his way past the first down marker. So the Raiders will get the ball back. Can they do something? Latavius Murray, a nice run there. Eight yards, second and two now. He'll get it back. A nice juke to the left, and he could be gone. He's down midfield, and he's across midfield all the way up to the 43-yard line. So a very nice job there by Latavius Murray. Finally gets something going, and we would like to see more of that from him. So first and ten now. Derek Carr hands it off to Marcel Reese, and he'll get two. Second and eight now. Carr waiting. Trying to find an open receiver, and he finds Rod Streeter, who wasn't too open, but he found him. He jumped up, made the aggressive catch, and the Raiders have a first down to the 30-yard line. This is the closest they've been to scoring all game long. Carr now hands it off to Murray, who will go forward for a solid five yards. Murray gets the ball again. He's going to the outside. He has some room up to the 10, the 5, and he forces his way into the end zone. Latavius Murray gets the touchdown, and the Raiders are ahead. Their defense has made lots of stops today. Their offense just couldn't get it done, but now they score, and they are up 7-3. to three. So here comes Thad Lewis and the Browns offense looking to get something going. They lose three yards, second and 13 now for Lewis, stumbling forward and getting hit. He gets rid of it, though. So third and 13, but the Raiders are going to get a flag here, I believe, as I think that was a false start on or an offsides at least on Mario Edwards Jr. So that will bring up a third and eight, and that was a neutral zone infraction. Lewis now, third and eight, out of the snap, waiting for someone to get open, and he is sacked. So another stop by the Raiders defense, really stepping it up today. I'm really glad to see that, and that will bring up the two-minute warning here in the first half, and the Raiders will get the ball back. Derek Carr, not looking so good. Good sack. Second and 17 now. 47-yard line. Carr is just backing up too much, and he has to throw off his back foot. Incomplete. Third and 17 now for Carr. Throws it deep, and Amari Cooper cannot hang on to that. So, unfortunately, the Raiders are going to get stopped here. They won't get any points on the board. And that, I believe, is going... Nope. Never mind. It's not going to bring us to halftime. The Browns get the ball back. They're going to try to rush and see if they can get some yards. Lewis going down the field, finds Josh Gordon, and he is down. As we all think we're going to halftime, the Browns think otherwise, and they take the 10-7 lead here in quarter number two, a 72-yard touchdown for Josh Gordon, and the Browns are up 10-7. So a nice job there. That will bring us into halftime, and like I said, the Browns are now up 10-7. So it was a pretty low scoring game, it still kind of is, it was 3-0 Browns for the most part, then the Raiders scored, then the Browns scored, and now they're up by 3, 10-7, entering the second half. So really, the defense looked pretty good, except for that last play for the Raiders, I'm really happy to see that. But next, basically, all we need now is for the offense to get going. We are back here in the second half, first and 10 now, Latavius Murray's getting it from Derek Carr, muscling his way to the 29-yard line, a 6-yard gain, Murray now has it, now to the left side, trying to get a first down, and he can't, and as a result, it's 3rd and 4 for the Raiders, Derek Carr scrambling to his right, trying to get a first down, he gets around the defenders, and he's down the sideline to the 41-yard line, and he'll have himself a first down in the third quarter, 12 yards, that was a 12-yard rush. First and 10 now, Carr hands it off to Halu Jr., who will fight his way to the right side, and that's not going to do anything. And basically, he needs to do something else. Second and nine now, incomplete. Third and nine, Derek Carr out of the snap. Throws it downfield, and what a catch by Rod Streeter. He dives out and makes an outstanding catch, bringing the Raiders across midfield to the 42-yard line, and that is a first and 10 for Derek Carr, who hands it off to Latavius Murray, stumbling his way to the 37-yard line. Murray now stumbling his way across the first down marker. He has the first down, he gets about six yards. So a nice job there by Murray. He's having himself a pretty nice day at the touchdown and 119 yards, and we're just halfway through this third quarter. Another rush, he gets four. Second and six, Carr throws it over. Amari Cooper has it. Haven't seen much of him today, but he gets the first down to the 16-yard line, and we are inside the red zone. First down. Raiders moving on forward Derek Carr first and ten hikes it out of the snap tosses it over to Roy Hallou Jr. who is going to try to get the first down he does and almost gets the touchdown just three yards short and he will go out of bounds first and goal now for the Raiders at the three yard line and we will try to punch it in Derek Carr hands it off to Latavius Murray who is in for his second touchdown of the game what a performance by Latavius Murray his second rushing touchdown he has all 14 Raiders points or I guess Technically, he is all 12 of the Raiders' points 
as the extra points were converted by Janikowski, but the Raiders are up 14-10 now, just halfway through this third quarter. Two yards there for the Browns. Lewis hands it off to Crowell, and that's going to bring up a third and two now. Lewis, out of the snap, throws it over, and that is intercepted by Charles Whitson, who picks it up, turns the other way, and he's down the sideline. Touchdown, Raiders. What a crazy play there as Charles Woodson gets it and he intercepts it and he turns around and takes it to the house of pick six and the Raiders have 21 points. For an offense that was struggling in the first half, I can't believe they have 21 points. So they're up 21 to 10 and now the Browns are trying to go deep. Nothing going there. So it's third and two now. Lewis hands it off to Crowell who is not going anywhere. So this defense is looking very good and all of a sudden the Raiders have taken control of this game. They're up by 11. Marcel Reese gets the handoff. He'll get four. Second and six now. Murray gets the handoff. He will stumble forward, and he'll get two. Third and four now for Derek Carr. Throws it down the field to a right, wide open Michael Rivera, and he is down across midfield to the 38-yard line, and that is going to bring up another Oakland Raider first down. Nice job there by Rivera and Carr throwing it over to him. Now a toss to Latavius Murray, who has some blocks, and he has a first down to the 27-yard line. Just as this third quarter ends, he is going to get another good rush, and he has 139 rushing yards on the day. So as the fourth quarter starts, Murray gets another yard. Second and nine now for Derek Carr, waiting, stepping pretty far back. He throws it, and that is just out of bounds. So third and nine now for Derek Carr, trying to get something on the board. They are in field goal range, but we'll see. Derek Carr throws it, and that is a very dangerous pass. Almost intercepted. And overall, Derek Carr is not really having the best day. He had a couple of uh, decent plays, but really Latavius Murray is going to get the workload, but Janikowski boots it to the right. I don't understand this. The win was to the, to the right, so we aim more towards the left, and he boots it. I think this has to be some kind of glitch because this has happened three games in a row, and I know I'm aiming in the right direction. You guys can look at it. I didn't do anything wrong, and it boots it to the right, so a missed opportunity there for the Raiders to put more points on the board, and as a result, it's now going to take less than two touchdowns for the Browns to get back in this game. But a nice completion there to Wes Welker brings up a first down just before midfield for the Browns, and they are not going to give up. Thad Lewis throws it off, and that is a first down for the Browns. Receiver there, Barnage, I believe, just muscles his way through. That's his first reception of the game, and he gets a first down. Now gets another reception, and nice gain there. Second and two now for Lewis. Throws it over. Gordon has it. He has a touchdown and now some yards. 18-yard line. Lewis throws it over, and that is almost caught, but not. So it's second and ten now for Lewis. Now he throws it over, and that is complete. So nice job there by Lewis getting the first down for the Browns and getting them to the four-yard line. Lewis trying to put some points on the board, and he almost does, but it's overthrown. Second and goal now. Lewis throws it over, and it's also overthrown in front of his receiver. So third and goal, last chance for Lewis. Throws it over to Crowell, down the right side, and he has himself a touchdown. So the Browns are cutting the Raiders' lead down. It is now 21-17, to actually 21-16 to as they're going for the two-point conversion. And what a nice breakup there, as I believe that was Heaney or maybe McGill breaking it up. We're going to go with Heaney here on the play. And Cleveland has a lot of passing yards, not many rushing yards and it's vice versa for the Raiders they have a lot of rushing yards barely any passing yards as Derek Carr is struggling a little bit today but thankfully Latavius Murray is doing good so second and eight now that turns into second and 13 with the flag Derek Carr now looking for an open receiver tries to find a an Amari Cooper I believe but that was not complete so third and 13 now is going to bring up a Derek Carr sack not really what the Raiders wanted there but it's going to bring up a fourth and 23 and a very um, well, I guess it was a shallow punt, so they have good field position at the 30-yard line now. Second and one for Thad Lewis, and a touchdown can win it for the Browns. Just as we thought the Raiders were going to win. Well, the Browns had other plans, and they are coming back first and 10 now as they get to the 20-yard line. Lewis now hands off to Crowell. He's stumbling forward, and now it's second and eight. At the 18-yard line, Crowell gets it again. Trying to get a first down, he does, and he is finally, finally taken down at the second-yard line. And as a result, it's going to bring up another first down for the Browns. And this could be bad for the Oakland Raiders. A flag is on the play. Crowell is getting stopped. Gets one yard, though. They're at the one-yard line. Next play, first and goal because of the flag. And Crowell is stopped again. Second and goal now. Crowell still can't get in. I thought that was in. Third and goal. Lewis avoids a sack and throws it over to a wide-open West Welker. And as a result, 
the Cleveland Browns are going to take the lead. What a game we are having here in Cleveland as the Browns now take the 22 to 21 lead. They're going to try to take the two point conversion to make it a three point game, but a nice break up there by Charles Woodson is not going to let that happen. So a field goal will win the game for the Oakland Raiders, although Janikowski hasn't been really been having a good year. So we have four chances to get it. We will see. First chance is not so good. Derek Carr gets sacked. Second and 21. It is all up to the Raiders' offense. A nice throw to Rod Streeter, who gets past the defenders and runs out of bounds to save the clock. And now it's third and three. Derek Carr out of the snap. Waits, and he has no one open, and he gets sacked. Not what we wanted at all. And that will bring up a fourth and 14. Derek Carr, this could be it. Looking for an open receiver, and nobody is open, and he is sacked, and that is the ball game. One of the craziest games you will see. Low scoring turns into a high scoring game. The Raiders are going to lose it 22-21, to a close game altogether, but really just kind of flip-flop. Their offense was crap in the first half. Their defense was really good. In the second half, the defense wasn't so good as their offense, or at least Latavius Murray was good. They get a bunch of points, but then Kent can serve the lead, and the Browns come back and score 12 points in the fourth quarter. So, unfortunately for the Raiders, it was a disappointing loss, but come back next week, week number four. I'll see you then, guys. Peace.